Hi, and welcome to the What's Cooking Show. I'm your host today, Joey Cubado with Piggly Wiggly and Cash Haven Opelousas. And I'm Chef Jason Newgate from Steamboat Warehouse in Washington. And uh, we have a very special guest today, Joey, uh, Ben Simmons from Crawford Town, yeah. USA. Yeah. Good friend of ours. Yes, definitely. I've uh, been knowing Ben for quite some time, a few years. And um, today's going to be making some Crawford Shade Touffet. So uh, we're going to pick up as much ingredients as we can right now for his uh, Crawford Shade Touffet. So uh, first, let's go and uh, grab us some seasoning and we'll start there. Okay, great. Uh, now, Joe, we're here at the um, seasoning aisle, which mm -hmm. you can see. There's a whole the bunch of seasons, Jason. We got a lot, a lot of different kinds, a lot of different uh, heat to them. Some got really hot, and some kind of just mild, some no salt, some with salt. Specialty ones it's, right here, but yeah. uh, the Cajun seasons are right here. Um, there's so many to choose from. Uh, I think, though, for the recipe that Ben sent to me, um, we're going to go ahead with our local product, Tony's, but since you love the heat. Yeah. Let's go with the uh, Tony Sasha's bowl. Let's we'll use a bowl. That. That, that'll work. Let's use so that. We'll grab a can of that. Okay. And uh, let's go get a couple of onions, bell pepper, stuff like that. Okay. And then we'll, we'll head on out. You got it. Jason, now we're in the produce aisle that we're going to pick up a few things that Ben needs for uh, his crawfish HFA. As you can see, we've got a lot of nice fresh produce here. Um, All the fresh produce you want. Definitely. Uh, we've got bell pepper, celery, green onions, cucumbers, lettuce, whatever you pretty much would like. Um, you know, well, to pick from, got onions and stuff. So let's grab a, a bag right there and then we'll yep. grab a couple of bell peppers and stuff from Ben. Two nice firm bell peppers. Let's just pick really, us two, two nice ones. All right. And uh, all we need now is uh, some onions. How about some green onions? You think Ben would want some green onions too? Uh, yes, give us some of that. Let's do. Okay. That's the good stuff right here. And a couple we'll of onions. Got some onions over okay. here. Let's grab a couple of those. We're gonna use the yellow onions today. Yeah. How about that? That's good with you? That's, that's what I use to steam Okay, great. All right, so now we got all we our got produce. Everything else. We got the crawfish see, earlier. See, we got the crawfish earlier, yeah. From the, uh, from the back. Yep. So I think we have everything. Let's go ahead and be in the boat and we'll get to cook. Okay, Johnny said the boat. Welcome back to the What's Cooking Show, everybody. We have uh, our very special guest with us today, Mr. Ben Simmons with Crawfish Town USA. And he's gonna be cooking us uh, a nice dish today. What are you cooking there? We got a little old fashioned etouffee uh, with a little black and red fish to go with it. Okay, when do we get started at? Uh, we're gonna, first, we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, go ahead and get some butter in here real quick uh, so we can get our uh, vegetables. Go ahead and saute <coughs> that. Get that going. Yeah, and we got it. What's that? You always start with butter. That's, the butter's that's on like, <laughs> Yeah, the main thing. Huh? Yeah, that's Cajun seasoning. That's Cajun, Cajun, Cajun right? Cajun, right? right? <laughs> Then we're gonna get some vegetables in there, onions, bell peppers. Uh, I like them big and chunky. Uh, nice body to it, so let that go uh, for a few minutes. And uh, some season, this is a little bit of Crawfish Town season that we have, a special blend. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let that go. Okay. In the meanwhile, that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, pot on for the... Uh... All right, Joey. Okay. Okay. There we go, there we go. Get our redfish going. Let me get a little more butter in there. Well, Ben, tell us a little bit about uh, Crawfish Town. Uh, it's your hours of operation and stuff like that. Uh, Crawfish Town, we're, we're open um, seven days a week, Monday through Sunday. Um, we do Monday through uh, Sunday through Thursday. It's uh, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, Friday and Saturday is 11 a.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. Um, we got fried seafood, ball crawfish, everything, uh, everything yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ball shrimp. Uh, crabs are not in season right now, so uh, but when that when it's in, we have them. So mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Joe and I have been there before. And yeah, in fact, had we, the, we had those like three things. Uh, we had the crab shrimp and crawfish. Yeah, back time. then Colt was there and he started sending us out all. We ordered ball crawfish. He started sending us out shrimp, <laughs> yeah, crawfish, <everything>, right. crabs. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so it's, we enjoyed it. It's a good place to work, man. Um, I've been with them now for uh, probably about almost six months, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's been it's been pretty good, man. It's a great place to work. Yeah, good atmosphere, food. Um, Dusty's good to work with. Yeah, Dusty's yeah. Dusty a cool guy. Uh, learn a lot from him, you know. Yeah. So we all learn from each other, us chefs. You know what I'm saying? Like we. You never know everything. You like we can always we can all learn from each other. That's yeah. it, man. That's it. It's like you don't see too many people using big bell peppers and stuff like he uses. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I wear glasses, so I got to be able to see it. So, nah. <laughs> nah, I, I like that. 
the bell peppers and the, the onions, um, you know, on the, on the first bite of it, uh, when they're raw, I mean, it's bitter, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. got a little spice to it, but as you cook it, it's just, it's sweet, sweet. you know, and yeah, it brings out food. seafood really mm -hmm. well, you know, especially crawfish and crab and stuff like that, so. Definitely, I agree with that. And it's pretty. I mean, you got it's pretty, red, yeah. Yeah, green, yeah, it's 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 white colors. Yeah, a little, a little Christmas decor right there. <laughs> <laughs> and so. I just want to remind everybody at home that uh, if you want all of the ingredients that didn't see this the other day, you can find them at the local Piggly Wiggly stores uh, or Cafe Vianopolis. Well, today we were at um, 8410 Highway 182 North location mm -hmm. and uh, 1305 Heather Drive with the Cash Saver, which you've seen us at plenty of times before on the show. Right. You come back and get all your ingredients and stuff. And yeah. Jason, tell them where they can find that recipe. KDCG.com or good. <laughs> you can go to your local Piggly Wiggly or Cash Saver store and or call me, come by, we can print them out for you. Print them up for you, no problem with that. And then I'm sure that you're using like fresh Louisiana crawfish today, right? Fresh. It's, uh, actually, it's handpicked from Crawfish Town USA. Uh, wow. We we ball, we ball our own, and then we also uh, we have we have a crew of people that come in and they. Uh, uh, they pick our crawfish for us that we can use in the restaurant. That's, that's gonna be good. different stuff like that. Is, yeah. So like, y'all boil the crawfish there, y'all peel it, y'all just sell the crawfish meat and everything. Oh, uh, we do actually in our fresh market. Uh, we have the restaurant, mm -hmm. and then right, next, right next door. Right, yeah, yeah, right next door. And there we sell a lot of our stuff that we sell in the restaurant, like our stuffed crabs, uh, yeah. stuffed shrimp, uh, stuffed potatoes, which are like like the favorite uh, yeah. side for everything, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and so uh, and so we're also in there, we sell our uh, fresh peeled crawfish tails. Wow. And so, uh, and usually, and I say it's fresh, so like yeah. that morning they're peeling whatever, and so, and then uh, vacuum sealed, and it gets put on the shelf like immediately. So when you come in, you can't get, get it fresh than that. Yeah, yeah. Next door. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. You know? Right next door. Okay, now like, what about dining rooms? Um, are the private dining rooms available? Or? There is. Uh, we, we, we do we do caterings. Uh, we have a section in there that can be closed off, and so that if you have a, a wedding, rehearsal dinner, or whatever it is, we can we can accommodate you either uh, at the restaurant or at your site. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do it there too. Also, we have a ball and uh, crawfish rig. So if you want crawfish at your office party, mm -hmm. hey, call us. We'll do it. You know? I've, I've been over there and seen buses and uh, like big buses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's it's nothing to see a night where you know you having on the ticket line. You know, as a chef, yeah. you're busy restaurant. <laughs> you know, you you've seen 60, 70 tickets on the line, and yeah. you're looking at it, you're like, man, will it There's ever no stop? Way it doesn't stop. <laughs> no. It doesn't stop till you go home. You're right. So That's it. That's I right. think in my seat, I hear the tickets running. Well, so. look, let's uh, let's take a quick break, man, okay. and we'll uh, come back and we'll start. We'll pick up where we left off. That's All right. right. Mm -hmm. Join us back for more. What's cooking? Welcome back to the show, everyone. We're here again with Ben Simmons from Crawfish Town, USA. And we have some good stuff going. It smells great. Ben, where we at? Oh, I'm about to add those crawfish tails in there. With a little bit of that fat. Ooh, that's the best Yeah. Part. We're just gonna let this go uh, about another couple minutes. What's gonna happen is um, add a little seafood stock to it and then let it reduce down. Just kind of get a nice little flavor. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my uh, redfish in there. Fresh caught. Uh, I didn't catch it, but it's fresh caught. <laughs> uh, just a little blackened seasoning uh, over it, and uh, you can make your own blackened seasoning, but it's something yeah. we, we have at the restaurant. Uh, we have, so get it in there. I'm just gonna let it go for a few minutes. Paul Perdon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he makes a good season. You can't, yeah. you can't beat his season, no. you know, mm -hmm. so. If I'm blackening something, that's the one I use. I mean. I mean, he's the one that invented it. Might as well. Right. Yeah, why yeah. not? <laughs> Straight from the source. I mean, there's several different um, types of black and seasons they got, but uh, I think his is probably the best. Yeah. yeah. No doubt. You know, once you do something good, everybody tries to kind of copy it off of you. Yeah, you can. Yeah. That's only one way to do it. And so, while this is running, I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, seafood stock. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm a sous chef. Smelling good. It really is. And so, I'm just gonna let this go for a little bit and mm -hmm. let it cook down. And then uh, it just kind of makes its own flavor. I know a lot of people yeah. use 
Uh, a, lot, a lot of people use tomato bases. Yeah, I, I don't mess with stuff that. Stuff like that. Cream uh, mushroom soup. I'm not. I'm not. I don't no. add that to mine. I mean, I'm not knocking people that do, but yeah. it's not my. Uh, that's not my thing. Right. I like yeah. just the Let it straight go, right. crawfish flavor in it. You know. Exactly. That's the best. Especially when you mm -hmm. have fresh Louisiana tails. I mean, why? Why would you try to hide it? Hide the yeah. fresh flavor. You yeah. Know? yeah. The only thing I'm missing here is you know rice. The <laughs> rice, and then actually. What makes a really good sauce in this is by using a, uh, a cast iron skillet. Uh, yeah. I mean, you get your good cast iron skillet for this, it makes it really good. And I just had one pot and I forgot the rest, so. Yeah. So. Good old redfish Smelling too. good, yeah. Yeah. Don't think much on them. Uh, no, not at all, man. Let it go. Pretty color. Very pretty. So Ben, uh, contact them at Crawfish Town. What can they contact y'all at? Uh, you can contact, we, we're on Facebook. Um, we're also uh, uh, Facebook. I'm losing, I'm losing the number in my head right now. <laughs> but, uh, we'll get that one at the break. Yeah, we'll get the break, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're definitely on Facebook. Uh, go online, there's a lot of things you can see. Uh, you can see our menu. We're actually working on right now, trying to get uh, some online order so where you can, oh, wow. uh, you can call your order in online. Uh, pay for it right then and there, yeah. and then it'll, it'll shoot the ticket, we'll, we'll make it, just come pick it up. So that's something that's working easy. on, that's probably gonna be in the next six, seven months. Yeah, I actually had to, a, a guy contact me that, yeah. that's to show me how to do it through, like, you know, some, some kind of business that shows you and, and implements it for you. And um, that, I mean, that could just seriously increase business. You know, yeah, everything online. Everything's oh, so easy now online, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it's, it makes it, you know, it's a lot less uh, confusion, yeah. uh, less chance of mess ups, you know, when you're not dealing with, you know, relaying messages yeah. to somebody else, so. Yeah, that'd be a lot easier. Yeah, that's that way cool. you can know exactly what they, how they want it. And yeah. You can, have, yeah, that'd be good, really good. Yeah. <clears throat> and so we're pretty much on the last stage here. I like to okay. throw in just a little bit of butter mm -hmm. towards the end of this here. And then uh, what happens is, it just kind of just creaminess too. Yeah, it just, and it it just reduces when it reduces down. It just it tightens up a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. A lot more flavor in it. It's so. called Monte Ober, meaning now Ben, you've been to several competitions. Um, any competitions lately you've done? Um, we of course we have. Do you have time for that? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Well, we, we do have time. That's one thing uh, that uh, Coffee Town likes for us to do is like get out there, uh, get out there, get our names out there, get the business out there. And uh, I mean, of course, you know, and then when the season's a little bit slower, you know, people recognize, hey, you know, they're doing other things other than seafood. Yeah. You know, they got good steaks, they got burgers and stuff yeah. like that. So we always get out and do stuff. But for us competitions, man, um, uh, the last thing we did recently was uh, with the OC Tasters here in yeah. town. Mm -hmm. uh, the Swore we always love doing those. So yeah. uh, you can't go wrong with that. September. Uh, and then um, we just did something recently in Baton Rouge for uh, Benny Keith. Yeah, we did a four. I watched. Four. I saw that on. Yeah, saw yeah, that was pretty cool. You know. Yeah, uh, one, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah we did win. Uh, we did win. Uh, we did with a, a grouper, man. It was pretty nice. Really? So, yeah. Can't go wrong with grouper. No, man. not at all, man. <laughs> so you see, I mean, you see the sauce coming out this thing now, and it's all, it's just all from the from the crawfish fat. You know, it's not, nothing from. Uh, just flavor. Yeah, just flavor. I didn't add no no paprika to it. No, there's no soup in. There. I mean, no cream nothing. mushroom. In there. Yeah. Nothing. No cornstarch, none of that, man. It's just all natural, so. No tomato sauce. That's it. No roux. Yeah. Some people put roux in it. Some people, yeah, they sure yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. It, it depends on what. Yeah, that's not, not to say that that's bad. From. It's just, yeah. you know. Yeah, everybody's got their own different way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I mean, my grandmother, the way she taught me how to make, yeah, I would add a little flour to this yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. but. Um, it makes you know. a little white roux, but you, if you're not careful, you're not doing it right, you'll, you'll taste that raw flour taste exactly, in there. Exactly, yeah. Yep, definitely. <coughs> you definitely. don't want that either, you know. So. That's looking yeah. good, Ben. Really good. There you go. That's it, man. Now that's yeah. that color right there. <laughs> Flipped it too soon earlier. Yeah, but. You can always reflip. That's <laughs> it, right? That's it, yeah, That's definitely. It. I'm going to get that turn off here okay. so that I don't want to overcook them. Yeah. And that. again, if you want all the ingredients that Ben's using here today, you can find them at the local Piggly Wiggly store or Cash Saver here in Opelousas. And uh, 1305 Heather Drive, 8410 Highway 1 and 2 North. Do you remember the phone numbers? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, yeah, 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 we used, yeah, we used, we used, oh, yeah, we used to that. that. Yeah. The Northside store on, on 182 is 948. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right. I'm going to ask Boss Man whenever I'm with him at the LSU UL game tonight. How about that? Oh, okay. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Doucette. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll be together tonight. Yeah. But the Northside store's phone number is 948-9427. Or the cash saver on the south side of Heather Drive, 948-8199. And uh, we're going to take a short break. Let's go take a break real quick and okay. we'll uh, come back. And, okay. Yeah. We'll come on back more. Let's go. Okay. Welcome back to the What's Cooking Show, everybody. We have Mr. Ben Simmons with us from Crawfordstown, USA. And he's going to be finishing up a wonderful dish for us today. Um, he's got some nice, wonderful... Louisiana crawfish ate today. That's it. <coughs> and some nice blackened redfish. Redfish. So Ben, for, for anyone who has just maybe just tuned in and hadn't caught the first part of the show, explain again real quick like, what you did what for I, the first second. What I did here is uh, in the beginning, I just took some butter, some softened real butter, not, not margarine, none of that stuff. It was real butter. And then uh, sauteed it down with onions and bell peppers, uh, red and green. And I just sauteed it down with a little seasoning and then uh, once they kind of got translucent a little, translucent a little bit, mm -hmm. I threw in uh, the crawfish tails, um, added some seafood stock to it. You can probably buy that at Cash mm -hmm. Savers or Piggy Wiggly. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a nice little seafood stock there. And then um, I add just a little more butter to it, just so I can kind of get it to clarify and then uh, reduce down a little bit. Let it reduce down and thicken up. It made its own little gravy, and that's from no paprika or anything. And so, uh, and then the redfish here, uh, just basically took a um, Paul Perdue's uh, blackening seasoning uh, that we use at the restaurant and uh, just seasoned it nice and well. Uh, it's not salty, it's yeah. more got a little pepper flavor, flavor to it, but it's, it's not. Uh, a little it's herb just, mixture it's in it too. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. You can't go wrong with it. <laughs> and so that's pretty much it. And I just use real butter for that also. There's no margarine, none of that. Um, if you want to use real butter. For right. That's yeah. what I'm about to say. Like, the difference between margarine and real butter is like light years. Oh yeah, yeah definitely, <coughs> definitely. Well Ben, give us a little bit more information again. Hours of operation, telephone numbers. Uh, again, uh, hours are from, uh, we do uh, from Sunday to Thursday, we do from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, we got crawfish all day long. Uh, and then on Fridays and Saturdays, we do from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, crawfish all day long. So uh, the number that'll be reached is 337-667. 6148 is our number to be reached, or you can follow us online uh, at uh, crawfishtownusa.com or Facebook. We're all yeah. also Facebook too. You can see what's going on there. That's always new events that we're doing that you can find. Well, something that you said a while ago, um, for someone like myself who loves crawfish, is probably my first or second favorite food right. ever. And uh, most places, if you want crawfish tonight, you know, and you don't want to boil them yourself at home, you have to wait till five o'clock. We don't start boiling till five. Yeah. And y'all do crawfish all day? All day. So we, look, wow. we, got, we got guys there early in the morning. Really? That is, uh, and the thing about our crawfish too is that, uh, you know, they get washed that morning. And then we got, we got guys. We don't have machines. We have guys that come in there and they're picking they're out. Yeah, they're they're picking out the crawfish. So they're not, we're not just uh, dumping a bunch of sacks in, in balling yeah, water. Yeah, just no. throw them out. Yeah, no. Nah, and then the method, our whole method of balling, I'm not going to tell the secret. I'm not going to tell the secret <laughs> on TV, but our whole method of balling. You <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, man. It's, you know, it's uh, uh, Mr. Johnny, the, the owner of the crawfish store in USA, he's, he took time to really figure out how to do crawfish right. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's that's a big key to getting perfect yeah. crawfish. So. Juicy tails, as they say, right? Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. But there's no way else you can go and just get crawfish for lunch, you know, like no. Crawfish. Yeah, no. that's, that's hard I mean, to find. Name one off the top of your head. Yeah. Crawfish, besides crawfish tails. Other than crawfish tails, <laughs> that's it. That's it. The only ones that's doing it. But Ben, all right, yeah. let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and plate up Definitely. our dish. <laughs> we got here is uh, let's get a little rice in there, you know, make it just put it right in the. Right in the middle here. The crawfish looks great. Oh, mm -hmm. It's running good. Take some of that. It's simple. Can't get more simple than that. No, not at all, man. That's my, that's my motto. Yeah, simple is best. Simple. simple the better. I know it's that crawfish on top of it. Oh, yeah. It's getting yeah. pretty colors. It is, yes, man. Yes, definitely. Is. And then a little black and red fish right on top of that. Mm. 
Nice. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Fashion A2 fade with black and red fish. And, uh, now, is this, to do is, is this something that you are uh, making the restaurant, like it's, on special or something It's like something, uh, the A2 fade, we've been, uh, we had it on chef specials on Friday and Saturday nights and Sundays on the weekends. We ran it for two weekends in a row. And uh, it's something that is going on the menu pretty soon. Um, uh, we probably will have it again this weekend. Really? Uh, but it's not done with red fish. It's actually done, it's done with a fried grouper on grouper, top. Grouper, yeah. So we actually fry the fish and put a fried grouper or, uh, or snapper on top of it, whichever one uh, we have at the time, right? Like grouper. Yeah, yeah <laughs> grouper's good, man. So. Yeah, grouper is very good. Yeah. And if they want to copy this recipe or any other recipe done on the show, you can go to our website at kdcg.com and click on the What's Cooking show. You said show. that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go by your local pickle regal stores or cash saver and pick up the recipes there or come by and meet Jason. We'll be sure glad to do that. And if you'd like to be a guest on the show, guest chef, uh, you can contact Miss Kathy at Delta Oak Media and she'll schedule an appointment for us to do something on the show. Before we go, Ben, I wanted to ask you real quick. Uh, huh? I saw that um, between you and Dusty on Facebook, y'all posting pictures of specials and stuff. Yeah. Um, there was a couple that I saw that were very interesting. Tell, tell our people that are watching like some of the uh, things that y'all have been creative and coming yeah. up with and uh, lately. Recently we did, uh, this weekend we did, uh, Chef Dusty did a sweet potato pancake topped with uh, we topped it with uh, a little shrimp, crawfish, and a cream with some uh, fish crackers. And we just took really? some, uh, we did sheephead fish. Matter of fact, we did a blackened sheephead fish right on top of it. Really? And then uh, we took the sheephead skin and we fried it down, put a little salt on it, so it was fish crackers. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, we also did some, I did a sweet potato, corn, and crawfish mock shoot uh, with a grilled uh, amberjack on top of it. Really? It's phenomenal. So we just got, you know, we just you had one with you had one on the skewered with some corn dog batter or something on it. Oh, and Chef <laughs> Dustin did, uh, yeah, he did a uh, crawfish corn dog. So we just we yeah. skewered the crawfish and we made a batter for it, fried it, and we served it with like a a uh, sriracha mustard sauce. Man, yeah, it was, it was, pretty, it was cool. Pretty, I saw that and I was like, man, that's that's pretty cool. And Dustin's dust got a lot of. Uh, you got a lot of imagination when it comes down to creative. Cooking. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool, you know. Well, Ben, thanks for coming, man. We're running yes, out of time. Thank you, Ben. But it's always a good pleasure yes, to sir. have you, Ben. Thank you. And thank you all for watching the What's Cooking Show. And join us back for the next week when we have another interesting chef. So come back and see us.